Hello everybody, my name is Will with Atlassian, and in this video we're going to take a look at the various ways in which you can view your project data in Jira Work Management. When looking at a project in Jira Work Management, you'll see all the view options here at the top. Summary, Board, List, Calendar, and Timeline. These are all the different ways to visualize work to get a great understanding of where things are and how to prioritize going forward. This first view is the summary view, where you can get a quick snapshot of progress in your project. This pie chart breaks down where things are in your workflow, so you can easily see how many issues are in each status. This priority breakdown shows you your issues sorted by priority, and team workload shows who is working on what, which can help understand who might be overwhelmed or who might have capacity. Now there's more to the summary view as you can see, but you can also click into any of these charts to drill down to these relevant issues. If we want to see all of Emma's issues, for example, we can just click here. And if we want to see everything that's in review, we can do that too. And from here, it's easy to make any adjustments as you need. Next up is the board view. And by default, this view shows your work in various status columns. And when they're ready, you can simply drag the issues into the next status to move things along your workflow. But you can also group this in other ways, like priority or assignee. And if we choose one of those options, like assignee, now dragging the issues will change the assignee of that issue. So if we want to give this weekly wrap-up task to Kevin, it's just that easy. Next up is the list view. And this might look familiar. It's basically an enhanced spreadsheet of all of your tasks. You can see important details about your issues in one place, and you can control which fields are displayed to show you exactly what you need. Once the fields are present and populated, you can easily sort by these fields, so your list becomes a really helpful tool when managing your most impactful work. Now let's move on to the calendar view, which is great for mapping out time-based deliverables. Any of your issues with a defined start and end date will appear here, spanning the days, weeks, or months that the work is expected to take. And based on the color, we can see issues that are in a to-do status, which are gray, a done status, which are green, and every other status in your workflow is considered an in-progress status category and will display as blue. If we want to clear this up a bit, we can remove done items from the view just this easily. Now, if your marketing team is relying on releases from another software team in Jira, say to roll out a new feature announcement, you can display the release dates of that software team directly on your calendar here, and any changes that that other team make to those dates will update here dynamically, giving these marketing folks the current information that they need to coordinate that announcement with the release. The last view that we're going to talk about is this timeline view, which is Jira Work Management's take on the Gantt chart. Here, you can visualize how work gets done over time and also understand how all this work relates to each other. From here, you can see where each item begins and ends, and we can also add dependencies across items. If we want to link these issues together, it's as simple as dragging from one of these dots onto whatever issue we want to link it to. Now, this timeline view will also show us any potential problems with linked issues. Since we probably can't start on the webinar video until the content is ready, we get an alert here about those overlapping dates, and we can quickly make adjustments. One final call out for these views, each of them has the option to filter based on many different criteria. So you can drill down to exactly what is relevant. You can see the filter option is present here on each of these views. And if we click into it, we can see all the different ways that you can drill down to exactly what you need. Each view also has the option to create new issues using this plus sign found at the bottom or on the calendar, clicking on the calendar date. So you can easily see how that new work relates to what you already have lined up. So there you have it five different views, each with unique ways of helping you understand your work and how best to move it forward. If you're ready to see how these different visualizations can help your team organize and prioritize, go ahead and start a free trial of Jira Work Management today.